So here we are at the range. We're gonna test out the 16 pound rear coil spring and 11 pound rear coil spring. We'll slow it down so we can see which one actually works better for you. The 11 pound rear coil spring is gonna be on the left and 16 pound on the right. As you can see, there's a timer. The timer is gonna start when the hammer drops. The gun's gonna go up and then it's gonna come back down. The timer's gonna stop when it comes back down to the same point where it started. And then we'll show how many milliseconds it took for the gun to go up and come back down. So in this first shot, it took 408 milliseconds for the 11 pound recoil spring and 445 milliseconds for the 16 pound recoil spring. So it's going to take you longer to get back to target with a 16 pound recoil spring and that probably means that it's putting more forces into your arm, has more recoil, more muzzle flip and pushes your arm further back. So we're going to measure the muzzle flip in degrees and in this first shot we've got 20.1 degrees for the 11 pound and 22.1 degrees for the 16 pound. So it looks like the 16 pound recoil spring makes the muzzle flip higher and takes longer to get back on target. So it's looking good for the 11 pound recoil spring. It's faster, less muzzle flip, and that's what we were expecting. So now let's take a look at a couple more shots and analyze them and see if all the results are consistent. So 442 versus 492. Again, the 16 pound recoil spring takes longer. 25 degrees for the 16 pound and 23 degrees for the 11 pound. 450, 508. 25 versus 27 degrees. So it's definitely looking bad for the 16 pound recoil spring. 650, so that's a lot more than the 546. And again, it's 26 degrees for the 16 pound and 24 for the 11 pound. Now we're going to take a look at it from a different angle and it takes longer for the 16 pound recoil spring to come back to the same position again. Three sixty seven versus four fifty eight. So I think we can conclude that the 16 pound recoil spring puts more forces into the arm and that causes you to come back onto target a lot slower. I guess I wouldn't say it's a lot slower but could compound and add up. So if you want to be reducing split times, you'll definitely want to go with the lighter recoil spring. You'll be able to put more shots on target quicker and probably more accurately because there's less muzzle flip, less moving around, and that's probably what you're after. So I think these results show you that the 11 pound recoil spring gives you less recoil, less muzzle flip, reduces your split times, and puts more shots on target quicker. I hope that resolves the 11 pound versus 16 pound discussion. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.